All right, so it's uh, another secluded Sunday, or I should say isolation Sunday. Got a whole garage full of micro cars here, and there's one in the back. I have not driven for a while. It's my little Vespa. I really would like to get this thing out, drive it around. Now that the weather is nice, it is a soft top. I don't know if it has any gas in it. Let's just check. It's got a little bit in there. Let's see if the battery's up. The battery is up. Horn works. Let's give the choke a little pump. Oh. I think I heard some squirtage. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't put soot all over my other cars here. Let's see when it does fire up. toots for you. Vespa, you started right up. That's pretty amazing. I haven't driven this car in a long time. Let's get it out. Take it for a drive. All right, so I got to move this car. And I can't even get it on the driver's side because it's too tight. I'm going to try to start it left-handed here. Hi, Nora. Yeah, okay, I'll come in in a second. Okay, I got this one running. It has a stuck fuel nipple. Have to get it out of the way. And okay, now that I got that one out of the way, I can push this one out of the way to get this out. Let's get this out of the way. A lot of monkeying around here. Is that clear? Is it kind of clear? Okay, it's looking a little clearer now. I can see a path. Now I just got to move my rat traps. Luckily, there's no rats in my traps. Wait a minute. The reason there's no rats in my traps is they ate my bait. Those dirty rats. I had peanut butter on there. Traps work. Ah, got me. Okay, now we're ready to get this thing out of here. Wouldn't be a Volkswagen if it didn't leak a little oil. Okay, so after some jacking and pulling, our microcar of the day is starting to emerge. been in the garage for some time. Hasn't seen the light of day for six months probably. Let's fire this thing up and take it for a drive. 